And once we decided we'd be part of it, Bert and I were uh, appointed to, to get the testifiers together. And, uh, and how did you do that? That was, that was hard. Nobody volunteered. Nobody. We managed to maybe get, uh, for a while, we had maybe four people. Because it was difficult. You just didn't show up. First of all, you had to show up. You had to submit a written uh, statement as to what you're going to say and submit that to the government. That's asking these internees to, to, you know, and they were thinking, well, what's, what's the point of it all? We're going to go up there, spill our guts. They're going to have it on paper. They could use it to jam our ass, you know, and we're not going to get our money, you know. I mean, that's, what, that's the prevailing thought. Mendoxai, you know. More and all of a sudden, the word was out in the Rafa that we would help people write. And the next meeting, we had some like eight. The next meeting, we had like 10. So when we finished up, we provided close to like 25 testifiers. The JSL had almost, a, you know, so we had quite a bit after that. And uh, but how did you get the Nisei? Nice, because weren't there mostly Sansei who attended? Some of, some of them, like Bert, was going to testify. I was going to testify. Lillian was going to testify. <laughs> uh, we had Fighting Dave in Mahara. He's going to testify. No, we had quite a few Nisei in there. I don't know where, like Iwan Yoshida, he turns up. He's this half Hollywood Indian and uh, Nisei that was still looking for his father. You know, his father was a fisherman and had a habit of leaving him in the orphanage because, you know, they had no mother while he went fishing. Well, one day the, the father never came back. So, Iwan shows up saying, uh, you know, I'm here because I want you to help find my father. This lady was very hesitant to speak to me. She says, are you uh, Mr. Matsuoka? I said, yes, you know, she says, well, um, I, uh, you know, read your name in the raffle, you know. I said, oh, are you going to testify? She says, I was thinking about it, you know. And uh, I, I, I stood with her for 45 minutes, which is quite long. You know, and it turned out she was the brother of the of the young man that was shot in uh, uh, Manzanar, and they had kept his T-shirt with a bullet hole in the back for all these years. She says, "I wanted to prove to people, our family wanted to prove to people that he was shot while he was running away, because the charges was that these people were attacking, you know, the police MP station, and the MPs opened up." and shot them in the front. But the proof was that they had run away once they realized that tear gas was coming at them. I said, I think you need to speak. You know? So that kind of stuff was coming up. And she says, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Will you help me? I said, we'd be glad to help you or anyone else that has a need to say something. But you, I think you need to speak. You know? And, and uh, and she agreed. She agreed.